What's going on? This is the most amazing pizza you've ever seen. This is What's for Dinner. I'm Drew, and tonight we're making some taco pizza. First up, your ingredients. Have some sliced up olives in the can. Some provolone cheese that we're going to grate up ourselves. Some medium cheddar. A big old tomato. A white onion that we're going to dice up. Some Ortega medium taco sauce. Cayenne pepper. And some taco seasoning for the ground beef. And of course, your pizza base, pizza crust, whatever you want to call it. And 80-20 ground chuck. And I piped some sour cream into a squeeze bottle. That'd be the last thing going on. Grated up our provolone. From the deli because I couldn't find a big enough chunk in the store. So if you have no knife skills, this is how you're going to want to cut it up. You're just going to go with a crisscross pattern. all the way through. And if you have some knife skills, you'll know how to cut the song in like that. Yeah, I just want to do a few slits into the side of the onion, then also a few slits on top of the onion. have a dull knife, you are going to cry with these onions. And then chop all the way through. We're going to brown up our ground chuck. And I sped up some of these videos. Just Save you guys some time, some coarse kosher salt, we're going to go ahead and put in part of our onion, and we're going to save some for the top of the pizza. Go ahead and add in your taco seasoning to your ground chuck. And you can use ground beef. I just like ground chuck better. And we're going to go in with a little bit of cayenne just for some heat. It's optional. You don't have to do it. And then also some water. Now you're going to want to let that water cook out. And it may take about 10 minutes or so. And we're also over medium heat. Now at this point, you're going to want to go ahead and preheat your oven to 450. And a lot of these pre-made crusts say to cook between 7.5 minutes to 10 minutes. We cook this for 15 minutes. I'm going to add some spray to the bottom of the base. Just so it cr crisp up a little bit and doesn't stick to the pan. Now again, this is taco sauce instead of pizza sauce. 
and it's medium, so you could go with the hotter one if you like it, or you could use a more mild one if you don't like it as hot. But medium was just perfect. You want it all the way to the edge of the crust. Now, we're going to put our provolone right on top of the taco sauce. A lot of uh, people, they go right with the meat, right after the, the taco sauce or enchilada sauce or whatever they use. But to be honest with you, I could have used a little less provolone. And we only used about half to a little over a half of taco seasoned meat. Mild cheddar, or whatever kind of, you can use sharp cheddar if you like. The reason why I used my own grated provolone is because I don't like the little pieces that are on. Again, there's a little bit more provolone. Little pieces that they put in the packaging on the shredded cheese. So it looks like before the oven, this is what it looks like after the oven. We're going to go on with your finely grated white onion. And my beautiful wife sliced up some iceberg lettuce for me. Really appreciate that. some sliced black olives and that's always optional you can do whatever you want leave them on leave them off and of course our tomato and this is some sour cream piped into a squeeze bottle but to make it a little easier and more flavorful on yourself you could squeeze some lime into the bottle as well or into it before piping it into there. And oh yeah, Mr. Creepy Face. <laughs> Tastes like a taco, only better. Please like, share, and also subscribe. Thanks for watching. Appreciate everything.